Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. On this video, we will talk about ControlNet and more precisely, the Depth Anything version 2 that was released recently. I will compare it with the old version with the series of images. I will also show you a good technique to combine it with different ControlNet in order to obtain unique images like this one. So without further ado, let's get started. But first of all, we need to install some additional file and install the custom notes for this Depth Anything version. To do that, you can use this link under my description. This GitHub link contains the code and you have here some explanation about this Depth Anything version 2. And you can find here the installation step. First of all, let's just copy this code. Then go to custom notes, type in CMD and paste it once you have pasted this code make sure to click enter and it will automatically install the depth anything for my case i have a message that said that already existed so i will not install it again then just copy and paste this second code it will change the directory of the file in order to install the necessary file for this depth anything once you enter the second file, you can just copy the last one and paste it here. Once you click enter, it will automatically install the, all the necessary file for this depth anything version 2, including the model. Or you can also download manually those models. We have different models, the small, the base and the large model. I personally use the large model since it, since it gives me better results. But you can try out to use the other models too. Okay, once it is done, just download my workflow. I will also put a link under my description. And you will, you will certainly have some uh, notes that are, that were not, that are, and you will face up with notes that were not installed. To fix that, go to manager, then click install missing custom notes. And ConfiUI will automatically install all the necessary nodes. Since this video, I will not only show you how to depth anything work, but also how you can combine it with different methods in order to obtain unique images. Good. Once everything is finished and downloaded, just restart your ConfiUI and we are good to go. Okay, let's first talk about this workflow and what are the necessary nodes that we're gonna use here. As always, we have the simple cheek point loader. I'm gonna use Reality Edge XL Lightning version since it has less steps to create the images. I also combine it with the LoRa, but you can bypass this model for now. We have the depth version 2, as you can see here. Once you install everything, you will have these nodes. And also, we have the depth version 1 in order to compare both of them. I also prepared a series of images and here, let me bring this here. We have a special node that allows you to combine two images in order to compare between them. Okay, the next group is the control net group, which I used the depth SDXL version and also I combine it with the scribe SDXL version. I will also put the link on the, on the description for this model. This scribe as the Excel is combined with the, with the canny with the canny nodes in order to create canny scribe like canny lines like this one. Then we have our key sampler. The second control net is the same for uh, as the first one. I only added in order to compare between the two images. This one is gonna be used for the version one, and the second one is gonna be used for the version two. That's practically everything that you need. Also here we have the auto prompt tiger, which will allow us to create an automatic prompt based on the images. This, this notes here, it's very interesting and very helpful. It will analyze every images and create additional keywords for these images. Those keywords is going to be taken into account using our clip text here. But I will talk to you about this in the second part. Okay, let's first do some trial with this depth anything and let's try to compare it with the, the first one to see if there is some improvement or anything new. Let's grab this here. Make sure to disable all those groups by 
click and right click and set group to never okay for the first image you can notice that the depth version 2 has more additional colors and details compared to the version 1 here you can see that the, the window is uh, some kind of blurriness but in the version 2 we have more precise details and we can set the same thing about this part of the image over here now let's try out another images for this image we can also see that we have more additional details especially with the tree over here but for the version 1 it has some blur effect here okay we can we can set the same thing about this depth map that we created here that only contain black and white color we can see that we have more details for the version 2 instead of the version 1 so let's do another trial and here we have another results and we still observe the same thing you can also notice that we have more precise results for the depth version 2 it sounds good for now but let's test it out with image to image in order to see the difference the main difference between them and let's click Q prompt okay here we have our results but before jumping into the images let's first see the auto prompt tiger as you can see the tiger analyzes analyzes the images then then created a series of keywords all those keywords are closely related to the images so we can say that it automatically describes the image then it's gonna be plugged with the text with this text notes here you have the positive prompt and the negative prompt you can add everything you want here if you want you can also exclude some additional tags okay then this text notes is gonna add all those text prompt then plug them into the clip text positive prompt and for the negative prompt we're gonna only use this window over here i also want to talk you talk to you about this sdxl prompt styler this styler contain different style images that you can create for your images but we will talk about this in the second part of this video okay here we have our control net as you can see we use the depth sdxl and the scribe sdxl model for the strength i use the strength value of 0 0.6 which means it's gonna follow the Im original image at 60 percent the more the more synced you have the more the more the results gonna be close to the original image however for the end percentage i choose a value of 0 0.5 which was originally by default equal to one however i decreased this value in order to obtain more impressive results but if you increase this value to one the results gonna vary compared to the original images so to, to stay close to the original image I decreased this value for both depth control for both depth control net and scribe sdxl then i used for the key sampler steps of 10 and cfg value of 2 since we are working with, with the lightning model and let's see the results here you can notice that we have practically the same results for both depth v2 and v1 we have the same clouds the same sky the same trees and the same flower for now it is practically given us the same results but let's test out another image and see and see if the results gonna vary let me plug this one over here then click q prompt okay now we have our second results and we can still notice the same thing here we have practically the same image generated however if we look closely onto the background here we have this amazing this giant rock for the depth of v1 but for the depth v2 the background i think it is closely to the original image let's try and compare it yeah it follows more the original image we can maybe consider that as a good point so let's try with another image okay now we have another results and we can also notice that is the same results we have practically the same details for both v1 and v2 and i personally like the v1 much better for this image especially especially around this cape over here we have we have good consistency with the v1 version as for the background we obtain the same images okay so i'm gonna do another trial for this character over here since it has hands that are close together 
and let's see if it can do some improvement with the steps version 2 okay and here we have our final results and we can also notice that we have the same image <laughs> and we can also notice that we have the same image however we have i think i think we have a better hand consistency compared to the version 1 it is still not so good however but we have less finger that are crossed here okay now let's jump in into the second part of this video so for this part we're gonna focus more on sdxr prompt styler we're gonna use a low poly image then we're gonna try to increase his quality in order to, in order to obtain different style to do that i plugged in this low quality image this is a solid snake from metal gear solid franchise and that's an old version i think that's a ps2 version so what we're gonna do is gonna use the depth control net and describe control net in order to increase its quality and obtain something more impressive to do that we have here a different style that we can choose so first of all i'm gonna select si3d model first then make sure to disable all the unnecessary control net for the v1 and let's click cube round and see the results okay we have our first results and you can see the main difference between them here we have clearly improvement in quality however we are still facing issue with hands but you can fix that with adding a law some additional lora like perfect hands so i'm gonna try and do another style like this pixel art style and let's see the results again okay here we have our second results and we can say that we still keep this the consistency of the original image and we successfully change the style of this original image we have a pixelized image results that is very you can also see, uh, observe the quality of my other style images and we can say that the depth control net is very very helpful for enhancing the quality of the, the old images so in conclusion we can say that this depth version 2 doesn't give us too much too much enhancement in the image to image quality however the major improvement was in the depth color map and the depth black and white map that was that are very uh, that are very that are more precise compared to the old one and maybe in the future we will have technology based on this type of workflow that will allow us to create a unique game experience with enhancing the image of the old games so that's it for today tutorial if you like my video push the like button for me subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below you can also watch my other tutorial about comfy ui and thank you